Hello, Mayday family. How are you doing today? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name's May. I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. So let's dive right in. Today, we're talking about Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Baker. The question that's swarming around and has been swarming around for the past couple of days is, is Kourtney Kardashian now married or at the very least engaged to Travis Baker? That is the question. And if you want to know the answer to that question, make sure to stick around through the rest of this video. I also have two main concerns about the relationship between Travis Baker and Kourtney Kardashian. And those are very, very big concerns that I have just based on uh, certain things. Make sure to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and make sure to smash that subscribe button for more future content. So let's dive right in. Kourtney Kardashian actually used to date Scott, and that is the father to all of her children. And that was a very tumultuous relationship for her. Unfortunately, that relationship was broadcasted on the Keeping Up with the Kardashians show on national television. And of course, Kourtney Kardashian did not like that at all. And that came at the price of everyone knowing that Kourtney Kardashian was in a fairly psychologically abusive relationship from what we were able to see on the show. So it is so much more exciting, especially for her fans, to hear that she is now in a relationship that she's happy in. Now, throughout the year, Kourtney Kardashian has been posting several pictures with her and Travis Baker together, very explicit pictures, might I add, and some of the pictures is a picture of her naked butt with his hand right on top of that, that thing, right? And there are so explicit. I cringe at some of them just because I'm not used to seeing this side of Courtney ever. And so that tells you the level of happiness or the state of bliss that she's in as it concerns this relationship because that is a pattern of behavior that I have yet to see before now coming from Kourtney Kardashian. Is Kourtney Kardashian finally married? Is she engaged? There's something up. So another hint came in when Kourtney Kardashian's hairstylist a few days ago took to Instagram to congratulate Kourtney and Travis Baker. Now the comment that he posted initially did not have that black heart emoji. The comment he posted initially had more of like a diamond ring emoji. But when Kourtney Kardashian's hairstylist saw how that started, basically the entire rumor mill, everything was getting super heated really quickly. He went back to that comment and swapped out the diamond ring for the heart emoji. Now, I'm not sure how he did that. Because on my Instagram, I'm not allowed to edit the comments. The next clue came in when Travis Baker's 15-year-old daughter went to the social media, took to social media to post a congratulations message to both Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Baker. So there's obviously something going on here. I believe that Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Baker are indeed engaged. I don't think they are married quite yet. It would be a lot harder to hide it if they were married because there are legal documentation that needs to be filed. And the way paparazzi is nowadays, it would be crazy to think that they were able to get away with that without anybody finding out before now. I do think that they are engaged. And one of the main reasons I think that they're engaged is because of these comments and these congratulations comments and posts that we've been seeing. Famous people and celebrities use this tactic all the time. When they want to deliver a message to the public, they typically will start small to see what the public reaction would be. So this is a strategy that has been around for a very, very long time. Even the news and the government uses this same strategy. Whenever they want to communicate something to the public, that's when you start hearing the news and people on the news that are reporting the news start saying things such as, oh, we had a leak. Someone leaked this information. 
all that means is that they wanted to share that information with you, but not in a direct way. They want to inch at this information in this news to get a feel for the general sense and feeling of what the public or how the public will take it. And that is one of the main reasons why I think that Kourtney Kardashian is currently engaged to Travis Scott. It's hard for me to believe that Kourtney Kardashian's hairstylist would just randomly and naively go on Instagram and post such a comment without thinking that there would be a huge follow-up to that. It's hard for me to think that Travis Baker's daughter would just randomly and take to social media, knowing the type of platform that both these individuals have and post something like that without knowing that there would be a lot of conversation around that. So that only leaves us with one option. They did not do this by accident. They're doing it on purpose and they're doing it to get their public ready for what's to come. Sit tight because they will be announcing something pretty soon. And I have a feeling that that's gonna be an engagement announcement because she seems to be in a very happy space, which is great. We love to see it. For him. You no, know, like I would, you know, like date girls that didn't have kids. And I find it kind of hard because they would, I think they would have trouble understanding like, well, why, why don't you want to go to dinner every night with me? Why don't you want to see me every night? And now I'm, you know, spending time with a woman who's like a great mom who's like a great friend and I just, you don't have to worry about any of those things. It just comes natural. It's like a maturity thing. The very first phase that most, if not all relationships go through is the, what we know and what the public knows as the cloud nine phase. The cloud nine phase is that time where everything is great and nothing could go wrong. Everything is awesome. And that's great because it feels really good, right? The challenge with this is it makes it really hard to catch red flags. It makes it really hard to address things that should be addressed early on within a relationship. That is the first challenge that I see here with this relationship is that it is clear to me from the very intimate pictures that Kourtney Kardashian posts on her Instagram and her social media that she is very deep into the cloud nine phase of this relationship, which worries me because the hotter the fire burns at the beginning, the less likely it's able to be sustained for the long term. Typically, when a relationship starts off that intense, it burns out fairly quickly. And the thing about the cloud nine phase is that that is a phase that could go and last as long as two to three years. The cloud nine phase can last a very long time. And so that is concerning because if we are in the cloud nine phase, we essentially are almost unable to look at things from a more objective standpoint. We're unable to catch certain red flags. We're unable to address the things that are necessary and need to be addressed because we are, we are in such a high from the relationship and from being with the person that we're with. What happens when the fun kind of, you know, dwindles down and it's not as much fun anymore? Oftentimes you don't see those relationships being able to withstand the test of time. When the difficulties really start, will that relationship be able to withstand that? That is the question. The second concern that I have with this relationship is that it is such an anomaly from Kourtney Kardashian's usual behavioral pattern. Kourtney Kardashian's behavioral pattern usually entails more passive pictures, more passive postings. And here lately this year, she's been posting a lot of sexual pictures. And most of the pictures that she posts with Travis Scott are very sexual in nature. And very few of them are, 
you know, just regular pictures of them just relaxing and chilling with no sexual implication attached. So the reason this is a concern is because this tells me that there is a possibility or there's a decent possibility that Kourtney Kardashian is actually going through a midlife crisis because this behavior differs so much from her typical behavioral pattern. I mean, it has shifted drastically. So that tells me that it might be more than the relationship. It might be that Kourtney Kardashian is actually going through a midlife crisis. She's at that age when midlife crisis typically occurs. That is my second concern with that, because if she's going through a midlife crisis, what happens once she processes through that crisis and realizes, oh, now I'm married to this individual or I'm engaged to this individual. Do am I really happy? Do, do I regret things that I've done? You know, being in a midlife crisis, you do things and you're not really thinking from the typical level-headed space that you might have been thinking about those things beforehand. So it makes it very uncertain as to how she'll feel later on down the road. And if that piece is uncertain, that also means that the future of the relationship is that much more uncertain as well. What she'll decide to do at that point is that much more uncertain as well. So those are really the two main things that I find the most concerning about this relationship. However, I love to see her happy finally because I, I mean, I just watched the rough time, at least on social media, the rough time that she had when she was with Scott. And I think that ha this level of happiness is something she absolutely deserves. However, proceed with caution because of the level of high that she's in, it makes things very uncertain, very unstable. Don't forget to like this video for the YouTube algorithm, smash the subscribe button to get more content like this one, and comment below on what you think and what type of videos you want to see me do next. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.